Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shadogs to Born But Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update where today we've got a surprising rumour from Six Flags St. Louis. Now this is according to one source uh, via a Screamscape article, so uh, keep your eyes peeled, take this with a pinch of salt, don't jump to conclusions yet, because uh, it might happen, it might not happen, but this is according to one source by a stream Screamscape who sent this report to Screamscape that apparently Superman Tower of Power at Six Flags St. Louis could be removed over the winter months as part of the ride removal scheme. Now, of course, we know a lot of details about this ride removal scheme by Six Flags over the winter months across all their theme parks. Uh, not every park is going to remove a ride. Uh, more, par uh, more parks might remove more than one ride. Um, but we know that it won't be relocations. It will all be permanent ride removals as a cost-cutting measure. And this is, you know, partly due to COVID and, you know, they'll want to save money, etc. Uh, so we're looking at 15 ride removals across the Six Flags chain. And the rumor is that Superman Tower of Power at Six Flags St. Louis could be one of them. So in this video, I'm going to discuss what I think to this rumor. Could it be? Could it not be? I'm going to look at the site and see what they could do with it for the future. And also, guys, we're going to take a look at the other Superman Tower of Powers and see where they're going to end up, whether this is the end for them as well. So before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subs and also over uh, well, nearly 1 million views. We're halfway there. Uh, make sure you get your video ideas submitted via the forms link in the description and also if the vote's still open The link is still in the description by the time you're watching this if it's if the vote hasn't closed You can still vote for me for the clamshell awards 2020 I'd love to win an award to round off my year So the link will be in the description down below if the vote hasn't closed by the time you're watching this in the future And for now guys, let's have a look at Six Flags St. Louis and the actual information from the Screamscape article about this rumored removal so before we take a look at specifics about the future, we have to look at the present with the actual truth of the rumour and a source. Uh, now, there's no verification on the truth of the rumour, so we can't verify whether this is true or not. However, according to Screamscape, one source um, has delivered to Screamscape that Six Flags St. Louis may be planning to remove Superman Tower of Power over the winter months. Now, this could be something to keep an eye on if you're in the local area, according to Screamscape, as the removal of the tower ride should be easy to spot from outside the park over the winter months. Now, Superman Tower of Power, for those of you who need some stats, is built by Intamin. There are other ones, that, well, there were other ones. Uh, there's one at Six Flags Over Texas, which opened in 2003. That one is manufactured by SNS. Uh, Six Flags Over Georgia has a Zamperla Family Drop Tower version of Superman Tower of Power that opened back in 2016 as part of their DC Super Friends area. And Kentucky Kingdom also had an Intamin version which opened in 1995 and closed in 2007. So that one, but my friends, is um, you know that one's the sort of the last of the Intamin, the Six Flags St. Louis one. Uh, now, of course, front uh, obviously Kentucky Kingdom did add Fearful in 2014. Uh, however. You know, it was you know, it was you know, it's it's not a it's not the Six Flags version. It's not the uh, sort of bring back, shall we say? Uh, now, obviously, Six Flags St. Louis's version is one of Intamin's giant drop models. So this has a height of 227 feet, which is 69 meters. A drop height of 217. So take um, three, well, four meters off of, well, three meters, sorry, off of that, you get 66 meters. Um, and you've also got a free fall distance of 230 feet, which is 70 meters, and a free fall speed of 65 miles per hour. Uh, now, the ride was originally operated at Six Flags Astro World as Dungeon Drop, and it was relocated to Six Flags St. Louis when Astro World was closed and demolished back in 2005. Now, the ride was originally intended to be named Acrophobia. This is an interesting fact. The tower piece were painted in an alternate colour scheme of orange, green and teal with white accent rings. Now, prior to being erected at the park during the off-season, when CEO Mark Chaparro made his stop at the park on his national tour of Six Flags Parks in 2006, he ordered the name change to Superman Tower of Power and the tower was repainted again but an alternating colour scheme of yellow, blue and red with yellow and blue accent rings. So this is an interesting fact for that one. Uh, now of course the instalment at King Kingdom was demolished after an accident that maimed a teenage girl, which is a very unfortunate fact to have read out. But there are still the operating ones at Over Georgia, which is the family one for DC Super Friends area, 
over Texas, which is still operating to this day, and also, of course, Six Flags St. Louis. However, we know that Six Flags was expected to remove a major ride from each of the major theme parks over the winter months as part of a cost-saving measure. Now, the Screamscape are asking for confirmation whether the ride is on its way out. However, it, it is going to be interesting to see if Over Texas and Over Georgia will have the only Superman Tower of Powers left in the Six Flags chain. And also, if Six Flags Lewis at St. Louis remove this one, that could be the last of the Intamin Giant drops named Superman Tower of Power. It should be an interesting watch. So for those of you who need a little bit of a reminder of the site, you can already see it on your screen, which is fan dabby dozy indeed. And this is going to be an interesting scenario because it should be very interesting to see uh, if this is actually the end of Superman Tower of Power. You know it's in a, a very good piece of land. Now, there's one thing though I want you guys to note. The fact that the boomerang is right next to Superman Tower of Power. Now, the Boomerang is a coaster that people have wanted gone for a couple of years now. And you look at the stretch of land behind the Old Glory Amphitheater. Now, to my understanding, wouldn't that be a magnificent coaster site? <laughs> it's probably just me that's thinking this, but I think if you weren't going to use the amphitheater anymore, or if you were just going to use the back of it as part of the site, if you look at it very, very closely, you could fit a decent sized roller coaster, like a Max Force type layout, and really redevelop that particular site. Um, now, it should be noted that obviously this is permanent ride removals, it will not be relocated again. Uh, so, once it's gone from uh, Six Flags St. Louis, it is gone. Finito. Uh, now, it should be interesting to see what they are going to do with the site in the future if Superman Tower of Power is to go. However, um, if they're going to remove the boomerang as well, then as you can, I mean, I've put the yellow sort of markings on your screen and you look at it and you think well hang on a minute this is a massive site it's right next to the screaming eagle so you could do some nice uh, overhead elements around the pathway towards screaming eagle and then if you think about it i mean i've got the actual site excluding the amphitheater in yellow and then i've got the amphitheater in a blue so imagine if you included that as well that is a decent site to play with for future expansion uh, obviously, the GoFresh Cafe might pay the price as well. Fireball won't pay the price. That might that might stay unless it wants to remove that as well. Uh, but as you can as you can already see, it, it is very interesting to see if maybe uh, Superman Tower of Power pays the price. Uh, then you've got to look and say, well, hang on a minute, maybe there's some business to be done here. Now. Obviously, I said at the beginning of the video, one of the other debates is to what's going to happen to the other ones. Now, I said about over George's family one, that won't get removed because that's part of the family area. But what about the Superman Tower of Power at Six Flags over Texas? Well, as you can see on your screen, another Google Maps image. Uh, that is from Six Flags over Texas. This is looking at their Superman Tower of Power. Um, so basically, yeah, this is, again, a very interesting debate because, of course, you know, if St. Louis is removing theirs, is Six Flags Over Texas going to do the same? Now, even though Screamscape reported that they're expecting one major ride removed from every park to provide cost-saving measures, it should be noted that it's going to be interesting to see whether Over Texas will do the same thing as St. Louis because, as you know, Superman Tower of Power is in a circular site, which means that it's got potential development room. Now, if you want to do something bigger than maybe just a replacement flat ride uh, with this particular area, you see the blue, the aqua blue sort of uh, circular image uh, around the theater next to it. Now, if they decide to remove the theater next to it as well, could that provide an interesting coaster site or, a, again, an interesting major attraction site? Uh, now, it should be noted that any major attraction would be lovely. Uh, so, I think on the basis of that, Over Georgia will not get rid of their Superman Tower of Power. Over Texas could remove theirs if St. Louis is removing theirs. So, it could be the whole idea of waiting to see what happens. And if St. Louis is removing theirs definitely over the winter months, it could mean the beginning of a Tower of Power domino effect. That's my phrase of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Tower of Power domino effect. 
So there we go. That's looking at what could happen with the removal of St. Louis's Superman Tower of Power. Now, as you saw by the site, if you include the Boomerang, uh, the Go Fresh Cafe, and also the Amphitheater potentially, or just the back end of the Amphitheater, you've got a Max Force style coaster layout op opportunity there. Maybe a clone. I mean, you know, St. Louis isn't no, f um, you know, no afraid of a cl no clone. But, you know, I think that a Max Full style coaster in that particular site, especially maybe even a custom layout just to work around the Screaming Eagle pathway, I reckon that will be a good addition. I reckon that will be a perfect addition for the park. Now, another perfect addition to the park maybe could be some kind of giant flat ride. I mean, um, you know, Saint, Saint, there's a few attractions that St. Louis could add. There is a few attractions they could add. Um... I mean, Giant Discoveries, I think they, I think St. Louis already has a Frisbee ride, but I think that maybe, I mean, no, I think Discovery Kingdom's got a Frisbee, got two Frisbee rides, so you're never too shy. I know St. Louis has got Excalibur, but maybe that doesn't exclude the fact they could still go for a Giant Discovery or a Giga Discovery to replace, um, you know, the whole Tower of Power Boomerang area, if they weren't going to go for a coaster. Uh, next to Screaming Eagle, but I reckon it's going to be an interesting debate because, of course, permanent ride removals could re mean future investments as well in the long term. So it should be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see if this rumor is true, but that's looking at the possibilities of if it is true. If it isn't true, then Tower of Power will stay. Could this mean that another major ride at Six Flags St. Louis could pave the way? And if so, comment down below your suggestions. But for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Again, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. Get your video ideas in, links in the description. Get the votes in for the Clownshell Awards 2020, links in the description. Social media links, they're in the description. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell, Coop living the coast of life. Make sure you check out all the updates that we've done today. And for now, thank you very much. See you guys in the next video tomorrow. Thank you very much. Have a fantastic day.